since we are not going to change overnight, we have to be aware that we need to increase uh, blood pressure control through medication. And we have very good medication at this point to control blood pressure. The ones that are in the market right now, um, there were for a long time, uh, we didn't have very good ones that uh, uh, were generics and that we could apply in large scale, but now we do. And the chief uh, uh, among these medications are, well, the ones um, diuretics, mild diuretics, that are very good at decreasing uh, the amount of salt one has in the body. Um, the, what we call ACE inhibitors, which are vasodilators, they are very powerful and they are probably the ones who have made the, the, the most difference. Uh, uh, and they are fancy uh, uh, ones that are still expensive and, and uh, uh, particularly for people who can't take ACE inhibitors and we call them the ARBs, the um, uh, inhibitors of uh, angiotensin beta blockers calcium channel blockers. So we have a whole armamentarium of, uh, of drugs that can be used in, in patients with, uh, with hypertension. The mo more modern trials have shown that the ideal control is generally obtained by a combination of these medications. We are now opting for a combination of um, two or three of those, of, dr of those drugs in a smaller dose. Mm -hmm. This appears to be better than when we started 20 years ago or controlling blood pressure. We tried to push one medication uh, very high before going to another one. Uh, we have changed that strategy. There are uh, uh, several challenges. The first one is um, uh, changing lifestyle remains at the, at the core of uh, being successful in changing, uh, in, in, in controlling blood pressure, particularly losing weight, increasing physical activity, appears to be something. Um, so it's something very important. One can take, uh, if one is not able to control lifestyle, then the need for blood pressure medicine increases tremendously. And uh, they also have side effects. So what you see generally is that then you start running into the side effects and people stop. And that's the second big issue. The second big issue is compliance. You are taking medication for something that is not causing any symptoms. So it, it is difficult to, uh, if you're taking medication for something that's causing symptoms, the moment you stop, that the, pro the process comes back and you are reminded, uh, here you have to take it to prevent. Um, so it has to become automatic, it has to become easy to get. Um, and uh, so compliance or adherence is the second uh, big issue. The third one is access to care. Um, there um, is still a, a large uh, components of our society that are not covered by medical insurance, that live far, or that uh, don't have access to care, access to blood pressure medication. Um, the in, in uh, as uh, as they should. And frequently, those individuals are the ones that need the most. And when I say access to care, I include cost as well. If you have regular hypertension and can be treated with uh, generic medicines that are cheap, um, that is much better and much easier than if you have some resistance uh, or resistant forms of uh, hypertension and you require N uh, n novel agents that are still uh, very expensive, then cost becomes an issue. Back to access to care, it's you have to have uh, frequent follow-up um, to be reminded and uh, 
access to being able to measure your blood pressure yourself, um, be in a situation where other people can measure the blood pressure for you if you are an elderly individual or if you have other types of incapacity. So those are the issues that compound and in the end uh, lead to lower uh, efficacy in controlling blood pressure. It looks that way. It, uh, of course, we need more extended uh, follow-up. Um, for example, I have colleagues that believe that if you compare, for example, blood pressure control with uh, control for cholesterol by using statins, which is a drug, um, it, it looks like statin, uh, statin uh, therapy is more effective than controlling blood pressure. Um, controlling blood pressure is not as effective as, as uh, controlling bad cholesterol with statins. But there is no doubt that the risk decreases significant w if one is uh, able to uh, uh, find the medication that works and sticks to it and in addition to that is able to control lifestyle uh, lifestyle to the point where uh, you know you allow the medication to really work.